Hello, my name is Benjamin Tuttle. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to bring in characters and animations from iClone to Unreal Engine using the iClone Live Link. So we're going to install the iClone Live Link from Fab. That is the official marketplace for Epic Games. So in the search bar, we're going to type in Reolution. So look up iClone Unreal Live Link and select. And add to my library. I already have it downloaded, so that's why you see it like this. So the next thing we need to do is we need to install the shaders. So in iClone, go to Plugins. Character Creator and iClone Auto Setup. Get the tool for Unreal. Here, you're going to go to Free Download and press download. Here it's going to save your shaders in a bunch of folders. I would keep the explorer file open just in case. So we're going to go into the launcher, go to library and in the fab library what you're going to do is go to iClone and you see the iClone Unreal Live link you're going to install what version of the engine you're going to be using. So here in the Unreal Engine under film video and live events I'm making a new project here. So in iClone go to plugins Character Creator and iClone Auto Setup. Browse Files. This is going to open up the folder, so you're going to open that. And copy the content and plugins. Copy. Don't just drag them in, just copy it. And you're going to paste them in the same folder as your Unreal Engine project, as seen below. In the Unreal Engine, what you're going to do is go to Edit. Plugins. And what you're going to do is go to Reillusion. And finally, select the iClone Live link. And what you're going to do is restart. When you see both of these icons, you successfully installed the plugins. So select the character creator one. Go to HQ Shader and apply. So I'm just making a quick set in Unreal Engine. The first thing I always tell people to learn is learn how to build a set in Unreal Engine. So, you know, learn your lighting, learn how to how shapes work. And just kind of learn how to light, learn how to build stuff, get to know the program. Because uh, I think Unreal Engine has a very powerful level design capability compared to iClone. So take advantage of that. Learn how to build a set. Uh, this video is pretty fast. I sped it up, but it kind of gives you a quick uh, look into what I do for tests. Um, I'm just building a basic uh, stage, nothing too fancy. So in iClone, I have Kevin and Camilla in a basic animation here. So I start my start and end markers here. So next I go to plugins. Unreal Live Link. There, I just transfer the character animation. I don't deal with lights or props, to be honest with you. I do it all in the Unreal Engine. So I just bring in the character animations. It's a lot easier. Include motion, range, and bake all animations to sequencer. Here there's an option where you can actually click on subdivision mesh, but keep in mind it takes a lot longer when you bring it in. You click on transfer file and should bring everything into the Unreal Engine. Okay, so our characters are now in the Unreal Engine. So you get a content browser. RL content and your characters are going to be right there. 
And if you go to our level sequences, you can see Icon created a level sequence for you that you can actually see your animations. So as you can tell, there's a duplicate of Camilla and Kevin. We're going to hide the, uh, the original uh, skeletal meshes. So select both of them. In details, type in hidden. And then check actor hidden in game. Go to your outliner and hide them. And there you go. So I'm going to apply a different animation to Kevin. I'm going to click remove object animation and just drag a new one in. So I'm going to uncheck Camilla and import the motion and uncheck bake all animations sequencer and transfer. And there we go. So what I'm doing right now is I'm just going to be bringing in the characters and making a completely new level sequence from scratch. So under the clapboard, you click on add level sequence. So as you can tell, I put sequences in a new folder for organizational purposes, but you type in the name and then I changed it to 24 frames per second, but that's up to you. So in the outliner, I'm going to select Kevin and Camilla and just drag them in. In animation, I'm going to add their animation in. So under add, go to cinematic, add cine camera actor, right click and select pilot to move around the camera. You can use WSAD keys and right click to rotate the camera. Immediately, you notice a serious issue when it comes to shallow depth of field. You see it in Camilla's eyes and Kevin's scalp. We're going to be fixing that. So you go to content drawer. Then you go to CC shaders, eye occlusion shader. RL underscore eye occlusion. Click on that. You click on the shader. And in details, type in DOF, translucency pass, click before, and then save. You can see it actually fixes part of the eyes, but we need to go to tier line shader, RL underscore tier line, click on that, and do the same process as before, DOF, and click on before DOF on no translucency pass, and save. And now the eyes are fixed. We're going to repeat the process for a few more shaders, so you go to hair shader, RL hair specular. Same process, but except we go to blend mode, we go to translucent. Type in DOF. Under blend mode, you turn it back to mask and then you save. So now we're going to go to Camilla. Scroll down. And look for scalp. Click on that and click on the material and click on the parent shader. You select that and then you turn it to translucent. Type in DOF, select before and turn blend mode back to mask and save. And that should do it for your characters. And now they're ready to go and you're ready to start filming. If anyone has any questions, feel free to let me know. Thank you for watching.